Hi guys, welcome to uh, a Rav's Retreat, my little home of wood turning. We're not actually in the workshop today, we're actually in my kitchen. Uh, what you're looking at is quite an old tool. Uh, my brother, he likes to visit what we in the UK know as or call car boot sales. And basically what it is, it's a field where a lot of people turn up set stalls up and sell the old rubbish that they don't want anymore. People buy it, you know, and the people that sold it, they've made a few quid from their old rubbish and the people that's bought it think they've got the world. My brother goes around these boot sales, buys uh, this stuff and then resells it on eBay and makes a little money for himself. But he knows I'm a turner, so he keeps his eye out for turning tools. The other day he turned up with this thing. Now by the look of it it looks quite an old tool. It's, a, it's an old carbon steel one. Now it has got a maker's mark on it but I can't make out the maker. I can make out Sheffield England which is about 11 miles from where I'm stood at the moment. Now I'm tipping that it's probably Henry Taylor. Um, I can make out a couple of the letters in the name and I'm tipping that it's Henry Taylor. So Now you might think, well you've got no use for a tool like that, the carbon steel tool. Well, actually there is. Uh, I keep them sharp. Now, if you're using your high speed steel tools and that edge happens to go blunt and you've only a tiny little bit to, to part off you know rather than go to the grinder and sharpen it or whatever you can grab a tool like this and just finish that that cut off so they are worth keeping sharp and having round the shack um it's a lovely little tool i were going to put a new handle on it but uh, the handle feels right so I think I'll leave it. It's seen some service in its life, you can tell that. Um, but it just shows you what turns up sometimes. Nice tool. I will sharpen it and keep it just in case. There you go guys. Thought you'd like a look at it. Um, Just shows you the history of, of wood turning, you know, when people only had carbon steel tools. They had to be very careful at sharpening them and, uh, you know, they wouldn't hold an edge for very long. We're very lucky these days when you think, you know, when you look back at what they were using years ago. We're very, very lucky, the tools that we've got today to use. Right guys, I'll get off. I just thought you'd like a look at that. Right, catch you later guys. Take care now. Bye bye.